surveillance video catching two men breaking into West Knoxville car dealerships during the middle of the night. Yeah, now the Knox County Sheriff's Office alerting nearby businesses. The break-ins happening last Tuesday, September 17th at Parkside Kia and Ted Russell Ford on Parkside Drive. KCSO's report noting that the two dealerships share a parking lot. Well, new here at 5 o'clock, WATE 6 on your side reporter Laura Holmes sitting down with investigators. Laura joining us now here in the studio with more on what we know at this point. Because this is an open investigation, I couldn't get a look at surveillance video and not all of my questions could be answered. For example, they couldn't give me a description of the suspects. However, investigators say these burglars focused just on cash. We're working through some issues. Lieutenant Alan Merritt with the Knox County Sheriff's Office telling me the burglaries on September 17th weren't noticed until employees came to open up both dealerships that morning. These specific burglaries have some uniqueness to them, um, but it's not uncommon. The first happening at Parkside Kia around 1:10 a.m. The report says an employee noticed the side door had been pried open. Surveillance video showed two males with masks and hoodies enter the dealership and go to the room the safe is in. The report notes the suspects drilled a hole in the safe, opened it to get the money and took cash from the service drawer. They didn't go after vehicles or tools or equipment or anything like that. Uh, they were looking mainly for uh, cash. The second burglary happening at Ted Russell Ford around 2 a.m. That report says while inside the dealership, the suspects drilled a hole in the safe, opening it and removing all the cash. We have been talking with local agencies about similar burglaries. Uh, we've not made any direct correlation between our burglaries and theirs. Uh, however, there are some similarities, uh, which obviously gives us concern. Investigators say at this point they have no reason to believe the suspects are employees at either dealership. Could they have been past previous employees? Maybe so. Lieutenant Merritt urging other car dealerships to report anything suspicious or concerning. Without us getting that call, we may not know until the business owner comes in the next day and lets us know that there's been a burglary. Now, I've reached out to management at both dealerships. I'm waiting to hear back from Ted Russell Ford. However, Parkside Kia's general manager, Ben Burton, telling me because it's an open investigation, he doesn't want to get in the way by commenting. Guys? All right, Laura, thank you. Investigators hoping you might know something about this case. That's why you're asking them to give them a call at 865-215-215. 2243. Yeah, your tips can of course remain anonymous and if you'd rather text investigators, uh, all you have to do is text crimes274-637 and use Knox as the first word in the message.